I'm not sure if this is all of your stuff that they put in here. You want to ask me something? Yes. Um... This looks like your things. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. <sighs> you are lucky I did not slap you. You are lucky I still have not slapped you, to be honest. This one is not happy to have been shot. Not happy in the slightest. Which one is yours? These ones, yes. Um... Would you like a cloak, Inigo? No? Seems good? Ugh, that armor has seen better days, has it not? All set? Although, to be fair, I probably shouldn't be talking. I'm still wearing the armor you shot me in. You know, I have never read your journal before. Entry 1. Today I had to kill Felix with his own damn sword. All sorts of things. Oh dear. To pawn him my new partner next week in Skyrim. I blame him for being a bloody skooma- uh, Oh. The skooma is all gone. It was the only thing keeping Felix- Inigo? Inigo? Were you- You were, weren't you? You were on skooma when we met. We met with Dupal and his sister today. Yes, he has a sister. Yes, he does. She is a very nice woman. A bit of a firebrand, though, as they say. You thought I was going to kill you. You thought I was going to kill you. Why would say Tess try to kill you, Inigo? First of all, I don't think I could take you. But second of all, Skuma, huh? I am a wretch and a fool, but I will not die today. I must put some distance between us and use my bow from cover. Inigo, why did you not tell me you were having a problem? I thought you were sick. I did not want to bother you because I thought you were feeling ill. Speak to me. I am speaking to you, Inigo. What are we trading? Here. Here, take Mr. Dragonfly back. Okay. Okay, let us get back to it. You know, it makes me very difficult to trust you, knowing that. But I have business, yes? You must be Sibby, yes? Well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I've always got time for lovely ladies. Hmm. Khajiit was sent by Louis Latrush. Louis? Louis? Latrush. The horse merchant guy thing. The guy who banged the horse. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Of course, of well, course. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. You sold Latrush a horse you didn't own. Zaytest is impressed, but you are a moron. You know that, right? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it. And you can have the second half of the payment. Hmm. Khajiit is willing to bet that Maven would pay even more for this information, given that it is her horse you were trying to sell? Yes? You know she's your mother? Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Khajiit finds it interesting doing business with you. Okay, Inigo, let's go before he starts flirting with me, yes? Or staring at my tail. A rude person. Let's see. How are you on food? I am guessing you have not eaten in a while, yes? Just given the state of your mind when I walked in? <sighs> Inigo, what are we going to do with you? 
You frustrate me, my big blue friend. But that is okay. Kajit is used to being frustrated. Oh, speaking of which, uh, it appears to be quite dark. Better. What do you need? Uh, I need to find these stairs. It is fine. Ah, Kajit is having issues. Ooh, we should stay away from the orphanage, yes. But we also... I also... Uh, I have business, yes. Which means... It may be better to drop in a go at the inn. And then go down to the ragged flagon. Once again. Good plan. Good plan. I swear... Ooh. Yeah, oh, need something? Well, it is a popular night tonight, is it not? Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, I don't need to be seeing in the dark while we're inside, yes? Yes, my friend. Okay, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead, ask away. Uh, would you mind staying here while I go? While I okay, go I will unwind a while. Eh, uh, yes, read my mind. What do you want, cat? You talking to me or Inigo? Because if I assure you that Inigo will with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. punch you in the face. Now what did you want? I already paid you. I... Uh, it's fine. I'm actually here to rent a room this time. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. I did. Um... I can't stand this city. It's impossible to make a decent living. Okay, well, that's Hi. awkward. Good evening. Good yeah. evening. What's your problem? Well, she's a confusing one, is she not? Uh, be quiet, stomach. You rumble louder than Inigo. And Inigo. Oh, hello. Uh, don't mind me. Because he just. <laughs> okay. Because she seems to be falling back into all the patterns that she had when she was with her bandit friends, yes? Yes. Oh, there is Inigo. Alright. I have business to take care of, but I suppose we can chat for a moment. I have many, 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 many questions for you, my big blue friend. Greetings. Ah, that loot in your cell was full of arrows. I take it you prefer singing? Yes. I have never been very good, though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. Improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. That is good to know. If I asked, would you sing something while we're traveling? Something that isn't, like, hopped up on skooma or something? Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Ah, to think I knew you when. Why, why the Bard's College? Well, I know it is silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. However, if you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. <laughs> we will see. Indeed. I must say I am not much of a singer myself. Um... Okay. Any thoughts? Look at us, two Khajiit far from home, making the world a safer place. <laughs> this land is lucky to have us, my friend. Uh, hopefully safer now that you are not on this Guma anymore, I'm yes? Right behind you. At least I assume you're not. I would have to actually slap you if you were. <clears throat> Just so you know. Just so you know. Okay. You want to talk? Yes, but um Ask away. Right. Okay, come and get me when it is time to go. I have a bit of business to attend to. I will see you soon. I need... Oh, I really do need some time away from him. It's not that I don't enjoy Inigo's company. Inigo is... He has always been good company. Even when he has been going through skooma withdrawal. With... Oh, lack of skooma. I seem to have landed in the water. Good job. Okay. This is what I get for running around with my eyes not... Not entirely... Entirely functioning. 
Come on. There we go. The city is built for Argonians, not Khajiit. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Okay, let's see if anybody has moved in since we left. My guess is no. Nope, we've still got buddies. Delightful. I hope Bramnyolf sends someone to clean them out, because otherwise it's going to start smelling very bad in here. Worse than a skeever. This is the right door, yes? I don't think Inigo would object to me being in the Thieves' Guild. But, uh... I, w I don't know if I trust him that far yet. I'll have to find some good way to... test him, no? Yeah. Okay. Well, Brynjolf? You need advice? So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Well... Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Bercy about had a bloody nose. But, uh, here's what those dead boat The dead beats owed well you. Dead boats. <laughs> and it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Thank you very much. And what happens next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Well, would you pa pardon? Uh, if it leads to more gold, Zaytes will play along. As as long as people are polite, you know. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't like the way you said that. Before we go, the test must ask something. What's on your mind? Because she just heard that it is uh, a bit hard times for your organization. Is it true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Oh. Wait, you mean this isn't yeah. the the whole thing? This here. This is the Thieves Guild, yes? Okay. Apparently not. So, uh... When you say I will do more than just fit in around here, what exactly do you mean by that? Not going to say anything, eh? Alright, fine. Red. I'm going to keep calling him that behind his back. I know very well his name is Brynjolf. But that is hard for Khajiit to say. Red is much easier. <laughs> red and blue. If we had Ingrath here, we would have two reds. Two reds make a blue? Maybe? No? Ah. Uh, well, this is an interesting place, isn't it? It is big. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. You've been talking Our about it behind recruit. my back. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Uh, you would make yourself more clear if you weren't mumbling, but yes, perfectly. They test understands. Yes. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Mumbler. Wait a moment. Nobody You're likes not a talking mumbler. About golden glow, are you? Even our golden what? couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove he it. He looks like a skiver. Golden glow estate is critically <laughs> important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own Is hands he the and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjol it's creepy in here, don't you think? Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Who's that? Hmm? Oh. oh, yes. Since Brynjol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Okay. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. I will do my best. And how can Zaytest get her cut of the spoils? How does this whole thing work, yes? Simple. 
Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. Aww. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Okay, this one can do that. Um, but first, uh, what is this about a golden something something? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. Another boss We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Mm, but there's a catch, yes? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Oh. Ah, uh, Zetas understands. There is sense in this. Do not... Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. That's what I was about to say. Okay. What would you have Zetas do about Arangoth? I do know how to handle wood elves. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Of course not. Of course not. Um... Uh... I, I might need a bit more... You watch yourself on that Indeed. island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Indeed. You told me to ask Vex, yes? I think... I thought I recognized some... All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Mm, they test is very aware of this. She thought she recognized somebody down here. Eh, could be wrong. I suppose I'll figure it out sooner or later, yes? But that is not an exit. That is an exit. 